Hello everyone and welcome to the ANSYS tutorial. In the today's session, we are discussing shear force and bending moment of a cantilever beam which is fixed at one end and a load of 10 kN is acting at free end. So the problem description is compute the shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam shown. Assume rectangular cross section area of 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter. Engs modulus is 210 GPA and the Poisson's ratio is 0.27. So 10 kN is acting at free end. The length of the beam is 5 meter which is fixed at one end. Let's move to the theoretical calculation. So first we need to calculate the shear force. So for my calculation purpose we are uh, pointing this uh, load section as A and B. This section is B and this point is A. Since we have one load at B and one load which is fixed uh, free uh, fixed end A. So we are making two division here. So shear force at B first you need to calculate. We know that uh, shear force is the sum of the uh, moment or uh, sum of the loads towards the left or right of the section. So we need to add the all the loads which are acting on the beam. So shear force, uh, shear force at B, at B point, a load of 10 kN is acting. So we are taking this direction as positive. So uh, 10 kN, uh, shear force at B is 10 kN, you can see. Next, we don't have any points in between B to A. So next we have to move to the point A. In point A, there is no any extra load acting. So uh, since uh, the shear force is the addition of uh, the loads, so already we have uh, 10 kN load at B which is uh, same uh, which, which will be followed to uh, A. So in A there is no extra load is acting. So shear force at A also we have 10 kN. If there is any extra load acting then you have to add that load. There is no extra load acting at B. So the shear force at A also will become 10 kN. So next the bending moment. So the bending moment is nothing but uh, the uh, multiplication of load into distance. In case of uh, shear force, we are taking only load, but in case of uh, bending moment, we have to uh, multiply load into distance. So bending moment at B, so this point B is zero. Why? Because one point we should know that the bending moment is always zero at free end because at free end we have load at of 10 kN for but since the bending moment is the multiplication of load into distance. So load is, is there 10 kN but from 10 kN to B distance is 0. So anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So 10 into 0 is 0. So the bending moment at free end is always 0. Next we don't have any point at uh, from B to A. So next we need to calculate the bending moment at A. So at bending moment at A. Uh, we have to calculate the what are the load acting till A. So we have only one point load acting at B which is having a distance of 5 meter from uh, A point. So 10 kN is having a distance of 5 meter from A point. So the bending moment is multiplication of load into distance. So the bending moment at A is load into distance. So the load is 10 kN. The distance of this load from point A is 5 meter. So the bending moment will become 10 into 5. So it is 10 into 5 minus we are taking for bending moment uh, this kind of uh, load this direction we are taking as minus. If there is a uh, opposite load acting as this direction for that load we are taking positive. So minus 10 into distance is 5 meter that will become 50 kilonewton meter. So our unit always we take it in newton dash millimeter. So convert this uh, unit into newton per millimeter. So kilonewton to newton we have to add 10 raise 3. For meter to millimeter again we have to add 10 raise 3. The total will be 10 raise 3 plus 10 raise 3, 10 raise 6. 15 to 10 raise 6 newton dash millimeter is our uh, maximum bending moment which is at A. This is about the theoretical calculation. Now let's prove it in ANSYS. Let's move to the ANSYS. Go to preferences, structural, okay. Then go to preprocessor, 
element type add edit delete click on add go to beam 2d 188 you have to select click on ok close this now go to material properties in that go to material model structural linear elastic isotropic enter here the Young's modulus which is 210 GPA which is nothing but 210 E raise 3 the poison's ratio is 0.27 click on ok close this now go to section in order to give the section here go to section beam in that go to common section now enter breadth as 200 millimeter which is given in the problem and height as 300 millimeter click on ok now go to modeling create key points in active cs click on first node number apply it as 000, zero, zero all three directions 000, zero, zero. okay apply click on uh, apply now second point which is having a distance of 5 meter x distance is 5 meter so i will enter instead of 5 meter we have to take in millimeter so i will write 5000 millimeter click on ok so two nodes created key points are created in the screen then go to the create lines in that lines again go to lines and straight line select the two key points first key point and second key points a line is created click on ok now go to meshing in that size control go to size control manual size in that go to global in that size click on size click on edge length it has and this as 100 click on ok now go to mesh click on lines click on pick all now meshing is done to see the meshing you go to plot lines here you can see the meshing here now meshing is over now go to solution apply load here solution define load apply structural and go to displacement on key points select this key point since this key this node is fixed this end is fixed click on ok select all dof click on ok so everything is fixed here so next go to the force movement load here in that define load go to force movement on key points select this second key point click on ok now change the direction as fy and this you have to give us load is uh, Ten kilonewton, so which is acting at a minus uh, negative direction. So ten into e raise three kilonewton is nothing but ten into ten raise three newton. You have to give give the load in newton. So click on OK minus because the direction is reverse. You can see the direction. If you give positive, the load will take in this direction. This is on wrong. So you have to give negative direction. Fy and in negative direction. So the load condition is over now. Go to general post processor. Uh, before that, you have to go for solve current ls. Click on OK. Solution is done. Close. Close this. Then go to general post processor. Then go to element table, define table, add by sequence number, 
here you have to select SMI SC. Write it as comma. This is for generating tear force and bending moment diagram. Click on apply. Then again, you want to go for by sequence number. Click on six. Again, click on apply. Again, go to by sequence number. SMIC. Click on write a uh, enter 16 here this time apply now again go to by sequence number semi c now write 19 click on okay 3 6 16 19 everything has come four points click uh, close this then go to plot result the deform contour plot that go to line element result now for generating shear force diagram you have to make node uh, i as uh, 6 and node j as 19 click on ok you can see the shear force diagram minus 10,000 which is exactly same as our theoretical value this is the shear force diagram then go to click on again line element result now change the node as 3 and 16 for bending moment 3 and 16 click on ok you can see the bending moment which is 50,000 15 to 10 rise 6 which is same as our theoretical valuation so we have uh, compared the both the theoretical and uh, ANSYS values so that's it for the today's session thank you